home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty? Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. No, it was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, then who? What? Um, I, I was told you could train me. No. Go away. I'm not leaving. I need a place to camp. There must be another way in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. 
I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead. So let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land. Coming up! Hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. Or you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course. And the only thing you're gonna be is dead. Moved on, boy. Rescued you too. I will not leave. Do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. not be defeated so easily. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. First cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn ya. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> brothers! for the old man, then. That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. Thank you. Then I suppose we should talk. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that... that I am... spirits of yours. 
have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you will find it. <sighs> Come on, I have something to show you. Careful. It wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me! You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way. Just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. <laughs> 